The beauty scientists, Dr. Christy Hamilton and Dr. Roy Kim. Real beauty without the hype. And the other thing too is when I talk about the high cost, I'm talking about the high cost typically for cosmetic or aesthetic use. Patients who have it for health insurance slash breast reconstruction, obviously the health insurance usually pays that cost. But yes, to a non-breast recon patient, the cost is significantly high, which is why they came up with man-made alternatives. So there are various names, including Galaflex, which is P4HB, mm -hmm. Dorosorb, which is PDS, that's a chemical that's used in the absorbable suture. And you have been lucky enough to try out Avitex, which is reinforced sheep gut. So how much fun are you having with those three types of internal bra materials? Yeah, and I, I don't have a particular favorite of those. I, I find that the P4HB is probably like a little bit more robust, the PDS. I like that one because it's a known material that we've used for a long time. So I don't lose sleep over using any of these meshes in the long term result. And then the newest one, the reinforced sheep gut, that's, that's been positioned as um, kind of having the benefits of both the biologic as well as the synthetic one. So you get that great tissue integration, but also that more robust support than you would get with a biologic material alone. And so these are all, I think, depending on the patient and whether integration is more of a concern or not, and like how, how lax their tissues are, how much support they need. I think any one of those three could be interesting or useful. Yeah, for the consumers out there, all of these substances look sort of like a mesh, and some of them are preformed, some of them are pre-cut, some of them just look like rectangles, and as a surgeon, we can cut it the way we want. And some people just put them in, some plastic surgeons actually suture them in. How you suture them in sort of depends on what's going on as well as the plastic surgeon preference. And they're all absorbable. In other words, your body does break it down and absorb it. And the other cool thing with these three products is that when you're setting it in as a plastic surgeon, that's where it stays, as opposed to the cellular dermal matrix. You could set it in any way you want, but the body has to heal. And sometimes it doesn't look exactly how you put it in as a plastic surgeon. Yes. And so I, I like to place it along the lower pole of the breast, like a sling, which I imagine is, is similar, if not exactly the same as, is what you do. And it can either be placed like in the breast implant pocket, if that's a new pocket and integrate and have the implant kind of push against it. Or if I'm doing a lift, I'll have it, I'll mold the breast tissue itself and then place it along that lower pole on the outside between the gland of the breast and then the skin of the breast. Yes, and it's a lot of fun to put in, and it's very nice when you have it where you want it, it will stay that way. You have a lot of certainty as a patient, as a plastic surgeon. Thank you for joining us on The Beauty Scientist. Be sure to visit thebeautyscientist.com and learn more about modern beauty and connect with Dr. Hamilton and Dr. Kim.